Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for joining us today. As you come on in, don't forget to let your peeps know in the chat that it's time for an AMA. Hit up Discord. Hit up Telegram. Let's get this party started. All right. It's going to be an interesting day today. I'm going to be holding this AMA down by myself. The uh, crew is on their way back from the Blockchain Economic Summit in jolly old England, aye? and uh, uh, they're all sick. So nobody's feeling good uh, except for me. I'm feeling great, and I'm here. So uh, we're going to answer some questions, go over what's been going on, uh, hit up some of the announcements, all the fun stuff, keep you folks up to date the lunar community very excited we've had a lot of stuff going on in the last two weeks looking forward to hearing questions give everybody a couple more minutes to get in before we get started I feel like i'm a radio dj today and uh my co-host is not here so it's like do i fill dead air do i create a second persona that I talk to. Who knows? It's going to be a fun day. We'll see what happens. Uh, also, by the way, there is a, while you guys are all chatting in the main chat, there's also a chat on the AMA stage itself as well. So feel free to strike up conversation with the people that are here. What's up, Fizzicella? All right. Pull up our old weekly updates here. Alrighty then, I guess uh, we can go ahead and get started. Outstanding. So it's been a great couple of weeks, Lunar Foundation. Um, it has been, I think we're in our like 16th week, something like that, as a uh, organization. Uh, and we've been delivering a ton every week. Uh, very excited about the work everybody's been doing um, as we uh, continue to push forward. Uh, let's start off. So, um, I want to, I want to start the top of the kind of updates by reminding everybody that, um, separately from the weekly updates, we have a document in the Dow governance site, uh, about the, uh, lunar volume improvement plan. It's under the title and announcements under the title, increasing LNR trading volume. Uh, so that is a separate checklist of things that are getting done. Uh, by the way, <laughs> it's a it's a list of another like <laughs> between like 20 and 35 things that had to be done uh, in order to be able to uh, to get everything up to speed. Um, and uh, I'm using that list and the team's using that list to check stuff off as things are getting done. So um, make sure you're paying attention to that. Make sure you're jumping in every week when you're checking the weekly updates. I've linked to it in the weekly updates specifically so that you guys can uh, keep up with the work that's being done there. Um, and there's a lot of it. Um, the websites and, and basically if you, and I talked about this in Telegram uh, earlier in uh, the week last week, um, if you think about uh, what happened during the Dow transition afterwards, and all the assets that were handed over to the DAO, um, DAO formation documents basically mandated that we had to set up a DAO governance and community website. And so if you looked at the state of the, um, the, you know, the design and the content in the marketing websites hadn't been updated in quite some time. Um, if you looked at the state of everything that needed to be done and what was mandated to get done, it just made sense for us to start the communication channel off for the DAO in the DAO governance site itself. So that's where a lot of the information has been posted. Um, a side effect of that was also, hey, let's make sure that people that actually hold Lunar have the information that they need and let's keep uh, futters out of the uh, information cycle, um, people who had dropped their bags but still stuck around the community and were giving everybody a hard time didn't didn't uh, need to be on the up and up in terms of information. So um, we solved that problem. 
we got that information out there. And as we've been rolling out uh, more and more utility for the token, so information and utility were our first priorities. As we did that, it, it made sense to start uh, updating our presence in the outside world, so to speak. And so we've been doing that in a number of ways. Um, uh, for those of you that might have seen this week and for the rest of you that hadn't, uh, we are now uh, verified on OpenSea both our primary Lunar Foundation account and the uh, BNB chain uh, Lunar Crystal NFTs. Um, so that's very exciting. And uh, that's one element of many in uh, raising the bar for uh, all of the external Lunar facing items that are out there. So um, uh, just uh, just kind of giving everybody a, a, like a reminder over all of that. So in the Lunar Volume Improvement Plan, there's a ton of stuff on cleaning up the rest of our outside persona so that um, new people that come into the platform have um, a great resource and access to the best information, uh, whether they are a Lunar token holder or not. And so uh, over the rest of this month, you'll see us uh, put our focus on uh, making sure that Lunar.io is up to date and that everything else on that list is crossed off. So please pay attention to it and keep an eye on it. Um, as we've mentioned, uh, we've submitted to a number of Binance recovery funds. Uh, we've submitted to the Binance uh, MVB6 uh, process. We still have not heard back from that. Not sure when they're planning on announcing uh, the winners, um, but if you hear about the winners and uh, we're not on the list, then you'll know we didn't make it. Um, uh, on the finance side, we've been continuing to work on other investment avenues uh, to uh, bring in uh, investment for the project to keep the project moving. Uh, we've been working on uh, combating misinformation in our public forums. Uh, Updating BSC scan, coin market cap, coin gecko, and um, traderview.com. Um, all of these things are entirely more time consuming than they should be, and we are staying on top of those as often as possible. Um, one of the big things in terms of our markets is we've been, uh, we went through an extensive process to interview uh, new market makers. Um, and I'll go into a little bit of detail here shortly on, on what a market maker is and how it works, but I'm going to save uh, some of the details for a, uh, a write-up that I'm putting together to help everybody understand uh, what's going on. Um, but we've been interviewing new market makers. We selected a new market maker, and we went through an extensive set of work to be able to get the new uh, market maker up to speed. And so uh, you'll be seeing that transition complete here very shortly, and uh, we'll have more information on who the market maker is, why they're important, um, why we selected this particular partner, and uh, how uh, we plan on moving forward with them and what they bring to the table for us uh, here in a separate individual update. I'm um, not going to promise a date for that right now because it's still being written, so uh, we'll we'll get that out as soon as we can. Um, we also, uh, I'm sure you guys saw, uh, we completed our first post DAO listing on sushi.com on sushi swap. We're very excited about that. Uh, you may be like, well, that's a, um, decentralized exchange and they don't charge you money. So it's not a big deal. We had to be selected for that just like everybody else. Um, if you look at their, um, GitHub, uh, they reject a number of requests that come through so uh we were uh, excited to be able to be selected and approved and are live on the site i will let you know that uh we have been analyzing on coin market cap a ton of um a ton of different tokens and seeing what exchanges they're listed on which ones charge money to get on which ones don't centralize decentralize the whole nine uh sushi is not the only uh decentralized exchange we're working on getting added to um but our policy um because of uh past history is that we will not talk about 
uh, exchanges until they're submitted or sorry, until they are approved. There's no point in you knowing which of the like 13 or whatever. That's just a number I pulled out of my butt. So I don't want to see like we were listening on 13 new exchanges. It's not what it is. Um, there's no point in telling you guys where we've applied to if we're not accepted to them, because some people don't hear we're not accepted and then some people think we're on it and some people think we don't and it ends up being chaos and we're trying to minimize chaos here folks so um we are working on other ones and when they are approved we'll let you know so that's on the market side and let me go and then i'll i'll jump to this is i'm going through the updates from two weeks ago and then i come back and uh, hit the updates from this week so um on the marketing side uh, there's a lot of stuff that we're doing. Um, again, like I cannot stress this enough. Um, for crypto being as uh, everybody like spouting off as amazing crypto is going to be, and it's changing the future and blah blah blah. And, like, man, there are a lot more fees uh, dealing with things in crypto than in it, than with banks. Sometimes um, there's a lot. Like everything is slow. I don't understand why everything is so slow. Uh, to get responses to, to get work done, whatever. Uh, but we've applied for Telegram verified status uh, months ago. We're still waiting for an answer. Uh, Telegram doesn't have a live support, so I can't like pick up the phone and call somebody and be like, what the hell's going on? Uh, we've applied to that. We've applied to uh, Discord uh, verified status. That was two plus weeks ago. We're still waiting here back on that. Um, we're working on that cleanup of lunar.io. We're working on uh, getting all of the weekly updates summarized into a monthly update format um, that was somewhat similar to what we used to do, but not exactly the same. Um, all of those posts will go up uh, when they're finished and ready. Um, we've done a lot of work. And so, like, summarizing all the work we've done has taken quite a bit of time. Uh, let's see. We had uh, Silverdust, Valiander, and Renix were at the... Um, Blockchain Economic Summit in London uh, earlier this week. I know uh, the U.S. part of the team just got back. Um, our We put together a video of the NFTs for that event. Um, uh, we had over 100 people uh, scan our uh, little QR code in that uh, video and uh, come to the website. We had some crystal sales come off of that and uh, some new people joined Discord. Very excited. Um, so we got some good awareness. Uh, I would expect a report uh, from the team after they've uh, recovered from uh, whatever illness they have. Uh, Miski just uh, jumped in and said, we also, uh, we have our retweet winners. Uh, there are two videos in Discord um about announcing those and uh one of them is here in the ama so that person will get an extra one hundred fifty thousand stardust pretty cool so uh miski if you uh ha i think he's uploaded the videos can i get a confirmation on that in the chat and then uh head on over to the main chat and uh, see who won miski if you want to let me know who that is uh, I will uh, announce it here in just a minute. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's do it on the marketing side. Got the video done. Very excited about that. Uh, I'm also working on a, um, a longer version of that video with all of our NFTs uh, that we can use for shilling. So we'll uh, drop that soon. Um, a lot of work done on the development side. So... Uh, all right, Jack Rowe, 150,000 Stardust for actually being present during the AMA. Great to see you here. Good job. And uh, Brizzy also won 100,000 Stardust. So uh, congrats to you guys. Uh, thanks for being a part of the Lunar community and all your hard work killing. On to development news. So um, as, as some of you have been aware, uh, keeping an eye on things, uh, we've been working on an update to both of our uh, sets of contracts for quite some time. Uh, the main issue that we ran into with that is um, that uh, one of the updates we needed to do um, to be able to have more transparency on how much money is available in the development wallet um, and to actually have a development wallet in the first place, um, which is something that uh, we did not have on the old contract under the old company or in the new company. So giving everybody that insight, 
um, our updates initially corrupted the contract. Uh, that's super bad. Uh, we can't have that happen. Um, so we have been working diligently on uh, restructuring the contract to be able to make sure that our updates ro go smoothly. Um, essentially, well, I won't get into it now, but we'll uh, we'll have a like a small article at some point on how uh, blockchain memory works and why we ran into this issue. Um, but we've got it resolved. Uh, Shepard's done an amazing job uh, updating our uh, build and release system to be able to add additional testing and validation to the upgrade process. I think we've removed the last vestiges of code um, from our uh, former very expensive contractor that did not deliver uh, the level of quality that we were looking for. And um, and uh, we're moving forward. So if I understand, yeah, we've gone through uh, beta testing and um, we believe I've got to finish my beta testing on the contract, but um, we validated that everything works. Uh, we're going to have uh, the foundation do their testing, and then we're going to announce uh, hopefully before the end of the week this week, which I guess is tomorrow, um, when that contract is going to be upgraded. Um, and we're talking about the ERC-20, the LNR contract right now. Um, there will be somewhere between five and 10 minutes where uh, maybe less where uh, the contract will be paused for that upgrade. And uh, that is just to update some values uh, so we don't uh, kill transactions <clears throat> while the development wallet addresses and all that good stuff are being updated. Uh, the features on this new contract are going to be uh, the exchange wallets and the development wallet are going to be separate. Um, and you'll be able to read what they are on the contract and you'll be able to understand what's going on there. So uh, we'll uh, keep things moving on that and let you know. Um, I, the big news is that last week we announced and we released the first preview of the Lunar Portfolio app to LNR holders. That means everybody, if you hold one LNR, if you were a DAO member, you have to hold one full LNR to be a DAO member. You now have access to the first drop of the portfolio app at preview.lunar.io. Please go check it out. Please use it. Add it to your dApps in your wallet. Um, it's uh, the on uh, the crypto on ramp is fantastic. Um, and so is the trading. Thanks to the team at Flues for making that happen. Um, and we're adding functionality. Uh, we fixed a number of bugs in the UI. I'm very excited about um, about how it's looking on mobile, and it will keep getting better and better. So uh, NFT holders can still access the app or can also access the app through preview.lunar.io. Important to remember that NFT holders also get access to more frequent builds at uh, beta.lunar.io. So we'll check that out. Um, uh, looking through, seeing if there's anything else. Uh, we did our uh, uh, we did our update. If you have NFTs in your wallet, make sure you open up your wallet, uh, long press on your NFT, and hit refresh to update that metadata. Uh, make sure you have the latest info as we uh, updated the metadata to support PowerPoints. Um, not those are not um, presentations, by the way. Those are uh, points of power. And uh, we'll be using those uh, in utility within the ecosystem uh, soon. Very excited about that as well. Jumping into that concludes most of last week's updates. I will very quickly go over this week's updates. Uh, anything new there? Oh, yeah, as part of the market maker stuff, we're also uh, taking ownership of the Telegram channels and bringing uh, all of the listing telegrams together under our roof. Uh, that's taken a little time. Uh, we should be finished with that, uh, hopefully by the end of the week. Um, anything else new? Nope, nope. Um, contract upgrades. Um, yep, we talked about the build pipeline. Yep, that's it. So um, that's pretty much uh, everything uh, that's been going on there. Uh, Want to upgrade another update from Miski on the Shill Squad. Uh, more and more accounts i guess twitter accounts are getting suspended unsure if this is twitter or something else but many have been affected 
this is a moving target. Uh, so we'll keep everyone updated as things move forward. Um, I, I, being somewhat of a Twitter expert, I would say that, um, uh, I believe that the, um, if you find yourself getting suspended, uh, make sure that you are varying your content and that at any one time you're not being super spammy. So, um, shilling is great for us. We really appreciate everybody that's shilling. I would highly recommend that you not post more than, you know, two to three tweets a minute. And I would highly recommend that you vary the content of the tweets. Um, if you're just replying the same thing on 13 different tweets, um, or if like everybody piles on at one time, it's probably going to get seen as a bot attack. So be very careful about how you're shilling. Uh, make sure that you are um, uh, being thoughtful about the content and uh, hopefully uh, avoid the Twitter ban hammer. So uh, um, and we'll uh, Missy and the team will support you on uh, getting that stuff resolved however they can. So, um, Shill team's doing a great job. Uh, even Miski has been flagged, so uh, that's fun. So, uh, again, like I said, just uh, appreciate all the shilling. Uh, be careful and spread it out. Don't, uh, don't drop all your posts at once. All right, I promised I would circle back to the um, market maker stuff, but before I do, I noticed uh, some people popped their hands up for questions. Um, in the chat, uh, they popped up and disappeared. Uh, so I'm going to stop. We're going to take a, a brief break. If you have a question in the audience, raise your hand and we'll go over it. Suddenly there's silence. Anybody? Feel free to raise your hand. All right. We got a Hefe. A wild Hefe has entered the chat. Hey, I was, since no one else is asking it, uh, there were some questions in the AMA questions. Uh, one of them was, uh, how much was generated from NFT sales so far? Uh, has it been significant part of the budget for the team so far? Um, so uh, let me think real quick. I think we've generated about, uh, somewhere around 20 BNB, uh, so far on the crystal sales. Um, could be a little more than that. I think between 20 and 30. Um, I can get an exact number uh, later, um, but it's been um, candidly not as um, frothy as I would have hoped, um, but has been doing very well. Uh, we do appreciate uh, your uh, purchases uh, also there, Hefe, and thanks for your support uh, over the last few weeks. Um, uh, one thing I do want to point out uh, since we're chatting about the crystals is um, we are... Uh, trying to um, raise the value of the collection through this process as well. We're trying to raise the floor price. Uh, we're trying to get in there and uh, and generate interest and excitement and activity and uh, make these things um, uh, more useful, show off the utility and all that fun stuff. So um, well, hopefully we'll be seeing um, the like the value of those tokens rise here soon. Um, there's been some, uh, I would say, like just personal observation here. There was some flooding of the market uh, when we dropped our uh, crystal sale on board. So, um, you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully the uh, floor price comes up and uh, we're raising the value of these tokens and getting uh, more activity on them. So, um, uh, sales going pretty well. Uh, appreciate you folks uh, shilling and uh, getting more um, visibility on that process. Thank you for uh, bringing that to my attention, Hefe. Welcome. How's your week going? Oh, my week's going pretty good. It's as you've uh, noted, I've gotten a few crystals and trying to support the project and bring good news to the world about the project. Posting on CMC where I can. Yeah. Uh, had a good test uh, for students this week, and about the, the the students that did the homework, students that didn't do the homework got low grades, and they're gonna wonder why, even though they should know why. <laughs> sounds sounds a lot <laughs> like uh, yeah, sounds a lot like down members who don't make their way over to the governance platform and uh, keep themselves updated about what we've been doing. Right. A little little plug for the Dow there. Hefe, appreciate you jumping on. Any other questions? Uh, no, not for me. 
Uh, Misky says, sorry about the Omnis, dude. I believe him. It's all good. <laughs> Appreciate you, sir. Thank you very much. I'm going to bring up Alvin. Alvin has requested to speak. Where'd you go, buddy? Your hand went down. Uh, you know, it'd be really nice if the stupid thing alphabetized the audience. It'd be real helpful. Uh, Alvin, uh, you want to come back up and raise your hand, buddy? Uh, there we go. Invite to speak. Feel free to come on. Oh, are you there? Discord is taking a second to make that happen. It's not working. Alvin, if you can uh, keep at it, we'll uh, try to make that happen. Um, all right. So um, back to the market maker then. Feel free uh, to jump in. Oh, has a broken mic, unfortunately. Sorry about that, Alvin. Uh, feel free to drop your question in the AMA questions chat, and I will go ahead and hit it up. Um, uh, the one question in the um, AMA about opportunities for LNR Crystal NFTs as a holder. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop our little utility uh, in the Telegram. Uh, your Crystal NFTs have massive DAO voting power, uh, are being used for Lunar account verification, can access our Lunar offerings on uh, before anybody else. Uh, the first one you can see there is the uh, beta.lunar.io, and we've announced discounts on Lunar products and services. Uh, so that's the utility that's available for the tokens uh, today. Um, we plan to have more in there, um, but uh, very excited about uh, what that uh, brings. So um, other opportunities to come, stay tuned. Moving on. All right, market making. While well, I'm waiting for other people to raise their hands um so when you look at having a token a crypto token there are two real main components uh, of that uh token in the marketplace the first is utility uh first and foremost for the foundation uh since day one has been uh delivering utility for every token that we uh, provide and uh, we've been delivering on that. Uh, I've been really proud of the work that we've done to deliver as much utility as possible uh, for these tokens in a short period of time. Uh, the products and services that we're releasing uh, will increase the utility uh, for both LNR and the Lunar Crystal NFTs uh, over the course of the next year. Very excited about that. Uh, the second component to that is um, demand. Uh, much like any any product, uh, demand is uh, uh, <laughs> does the product work and is there a need for it? Those are the two primary questions that you have to answer. It doesn't matter if it's a crypto token or anything else. Uh, so um, when it comes to creating demand, oh, got Alvin uh, finally uh, got their mic situation figured out. Are you there? Jumped up on the stage, not hearing anything, um, but uh, go ahead and jump in and interrupt if you get your mic working. Anyways, um, so the uh, the second component is demand. Uh, demand is created a number of ways, right? One of them is just regular marketing. Um, there's a, uh, you, you can buy ads on Google, Twitter, what uh, Instagram, uh, what have you. Um, Ooh, did I hear a did I hear a mic working? All right, I'm gonna keep going. Um, so advertising is one way to create demand, like having a great web presence and being active in uh, token communities. Another great way to create demand. Um, but uh, in a in a market, um, you have to have a token that's available uh, for purchase or selling. You have to have um, a, an actual marketplace for people to be able to buy and sell tokens, for people uh, that say, hey, I have tokens I wanna buy, to be matched with people that say, hey, I have tokens I wanna sell. And so uh, a market maker's primary job is to create that market and to connect buyers and sellers, to increase awareness of a token, to generate interest, and to um, help execute those transactions. Now, uh, exchanges like uh, XT, um, some of the ones that we're on right now, MEXC, uh, all that good stuff, like those 
also create a market, but primarily the job is to actually like execute the transactions between the buyers and sellers on those exchanges. Uh, a market maker's job is to help create the demand and hopefully in the process actually uh, generate revenue for the project. Um, the market maker that was um, chosen by the prior team uh, that has been uh, running the market for Lunar, um, I, I think it's pretty clear to everybody that has not been up to snuff. Um, that has not uh, been uh, sending us in the direction we want to. Um, I pulled up the stats for um, the one of our exchanges and the uh, market maker account on one of those exchanges. And uh, the value of that account has dropped uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 40% over uh, since September. So uh, market makers clearly not doing what we need them to do, uh, clearly not uh, moving the market in the right direction. So uh, we've been researching partners, trying to find out uh, who can help us on a number of fronts. Um, be able to make sure that as we uh, that we have a partner that has relationships with new exchanges that can help us um, evolve the platform, get us in front of new token holders, and then uh, aligning with all of the work that we're doing on the websites and whatnot, so that when new token holders come up, that they've got the best information available and can make the best decision on whether or not to join the lunar ecosystem. So. Uh, all of those things have been working in tandem, and I'm a firm believer that everything happens at the right time for the right reasons. You put in the work and good things will happen. And so as we've been aligning everything, um, getting everything ready for um, a new influx of people seeing Lunar.io, I've been getting that website finished and everything is aligning so that when uh, the new market maker comes on and our integration work is finished, um, that we're going to see a great bump in uh, new organic volume, uh, that we're going to be bringing new uh, holders to the table, uh, getting more people involved in the lunar ecosystem, and putting our best face forward on the website uh, and all of our web properties uh, so that people understand what we're building and what we're doing and the mission of not just uh, the Lunar brand, but the Lunar Foundation and and every, on all the good work that everybody's doing. Um, so um, uh, some of that work involves making sure that our um, uh, token uh, community pages are up to date on CMC and CoinGecko and whatnot. Um, I talked about this in Telegram last week. Uh, make sure you jump in and go uh, look for that, but I'll give you a little bit of details now. Um, when we did the migration, so there was a lot going on back in August, September, when we did the token migration, the the DAO was being worked on, um, the, we we're trying to make sure that we didn't screw up the contract when we got everybody migrated over. There was a lot happening there. Um, you might wonder why there's a new page for CMC and why we're not under the old profile uh, with um, more um, oh more um, followers than the top eight tokens combined. Um, that's because CMC forced us to create a new uh, page. They forced us to create a new page because on the data for the token. Um, they were concerned that the data was going to look bad if the token price suddenly jumped from like 0 0.00000009 cents to nine or to eight cents or whatever. Um, they were concerned that it was going to screw up all of that. And so they moved us to a new profile, made us set up new users. Um, their system only allows one token listing per user account. And so um, like the project connection to the user account was broken. And then in that migration, the, the way they did it, the data got screwed up anyways. And so if you look at the earliest days of the history, you'll see the very thing they were trying to avoid got created anyways. So we've been working on trying to get this fixed. We've been working on trying to make sure, like, just understand this was not a choice that was made. We didn't decide to put a profile up over there. That decision was made for us. And we have been dealing with the repercussions of that ever since. So we're trying to get that situation resolved. Uh, if you've got any kind of imagination, you can imagine some of the ways we could try to resolve that. 
can't go into detail on it, and I don't know uh, what ultimately is going to happen with it, but this is something that we've put uh, effort and energy into for months to make sure that um, we, that our efforts are being seen um, by um, people that are interested in the ecosystem. And so um, we're making progress on those things. Uh, I believe... I'm just going to I'm going to say from me personally, I'm not speaking for the foundation on this, this is just my personal view. I believe that uh, March is going to be a fantastic month for Lunar, that the ecosystem is really going to start to come together and you're going to see um, the end of the transition from the old company to the Dow. We will be able to um, kind of we've been in the chrysalis for a little while. Uh, making that transition from a caterpillar to a butterfly, um, we're about to come out of our shell and um, make that uh, make that transition. So um, I'm very excited about what's coming. Can't wait to share with you more of the hard work that we've been doing. Um, the nature of expectations means that a good portion of the work you don't get to hear about until it's done. Uh, we've been working really hard to... Um, move forward, set expectations correctly, communicate the way in the way that makes the most sense that everybody can understand and um, and and showcase our our successes. Um, there are many more successes that are waiting in the wings um, and we're excited to be able to share them with you when we can. Um, the good news for all of you is a new market maker uh, who's um, and by the way, like, uh, this market maker I'm really excited about um, because uh, we're going to have weekly meetings set up with them. Um, they're very um, their Our success is aligned with their success. And um, it's much uh, more of a deep partnership than our current market maker. And so I'm excited about um, the fact that they, in order for them to generate interest, need more news and information coming out on a regular basis as well. So, like, we've been laying the groundwork for that with the weekly updates, I've been laying the groundwork for that with consistent delivery of new um, uh, functionality in the ecosystem. And you folks are going to start seeing a payoff for that. So, um, really excited to get you the write up. We'll have that online soon, and uh, we appreciate everybody's uh, support and patience. Um, I also just want to give a shout out and say thanks. I think this is the biggest audience uh, we've seen in here in a little bit. The audience has been uh, steadily growing through the AMAs, and uh, appreciate everybody's uh, holding and support throughout the process. Um, Miski uh, raised in the AMA stage chat. It's curious, came in from the um, oh, my screen just went black here for a second while it <laughs> while my machine overheats. Um, said anybody uh, came in from seeing the tweet? Uh, raise your hand or uh, do a plus one in the chat if uh, if you saw our tweet and jumped in. So um, I'd love to see it. Uh, any other questions? Any hands up? You got me for about 15 more minutes. Happy to answer any technical questions, any uh, operational questions about the business, uh, where things are headed, what my favorite sandwich is. Just kidding. Nobody cares about my sandwiches. Um, all right. For an it goes back. What's your favorite sandwich? Uh, I make a mean grilled cheese. Mean grilled cheese. Simple, executed very well. Uh, second favorite sandwich would probably be, and you're probably going to be like, man, that's gross. I don't care. I don't care what you, uh, it's a great sandwich. Uh, Subway has a wonderful, uh, tuna sub with lettuce, uh, Miracle Whip, salt, pepper, Parmesan cheese, cheddar cheese, and bacon. I don't care if you think it's gross. It's amazing. Hefe has disowned me. I don't care. It's good. All I have to say about that. All right. Well, I'm going to jump over to main chat, see if there are any questions. But if nobody's if nobody's going to raise their hand, very few questions for an ask me anything, but that's OK. Nobody has any other questions, then I'm going to cut this off. You folks are amazing. 
Thank you for your support. Uh, we mentioned uh, last our last time. I'll bring it up again. Uh, throughout the transition, we started off. Uh, we've only uh, we've kept ninety eight point five percent of our holders uh, throughout the transition, um, and uh, that's just been fantastic. I know um, the early stages of the transition were rough, um, but thanks for believing in us and for sticking with it. Uh, we're out here. Uh, kicking ass and taking names for you guys and um and we're gonna keep doing it because this ecosystem needs the features that we're bringing to market i've had conversations this week uh, and over the last month with uh normies that are not in crypto and uh, the scams the usability problems the wallets that get stolen um all of this stuff it's it's not great folks uh this ecosystem is um is is not designed for normal people to succeed and that's why we're here we're we're building things to be able to help uh your family your friends um keep their hard-earned money and uh have an ecosystem that lets them be successful and so um thanks for helping us make that happen really appreciate you saw somebody tagged me in the main chat alvin alvin's question was oh renick said what is normal people hey like norm here's the thing guys you're here like in a crypto in any adoption cycle it's a great question renick in any adoption cycle you have um the like early enthusiasts you have and there's a there's plenty of graphs that show like hype cycles of things or whatever you have something that hits a peak and then it drops and then as it gets into, you know, mainstream and then adoption uh, grows again from there. And so if you look at just normal patterns of human behavior, most adoption cycles follow this process. Um, every one of you may consider yourselves, you know, normal run of the mill human beings, but you're all crypto enthusiasts and you're here early. That makes you an early adopter. And so you being in the room right now, you're excited, um, you know, as an early adopter, you're willing to put up with crap that normal people aren't. Um, and I don't mean that to say that you're not normal as a person. All of you have regular jobs and all of that stuff, but you're not normal because you're willing to be a glutton for punishment in an ecosystem that is not designed for the masses. So I love you and thanks for being here. Um, um... <laughs> Uh, nice job, Hefe. Um, so the the next billion users in crypto are going to be um, uh, grandparents, doctors, uh, people who have regular lives and just want to move money, right? It's not, they're not, a lot of people that are in it in crypto right now are there because it's exciting and new and want to be on the forefront of something and all of that. That's great, right? I'm sure you also want to just do things in crypto, right? But um, really what I'm focused on when I say like the, the next billion users and for the average everyday human, it's I just want to send somebody money and not have to figure out what the hell gas is. I just want to be able to accomplish something with money and be hassled as little as possible. Uh, it sucks dealing like the cash based world sucks trying to get money from one account to another when you've got to take it out of an ATM and move it to another ATM or get it scanned from one app to another. And there's a $4 service charge on top of that and all this, like our financial system is nonsense. It doesn't matter where you go. So how do we make it better? That's what Lunar is here for. Lunar is here to try to make uh, moving money as simply as simple as a text message, right? It's here to make sure that no matter your skill level or your interest or your level of being a glutton for punishment, um, you can be successful. Crypto is not designed to be successful by default. And we want success to be the default moving forward. So that takes a lot of effort, a lot of energy. Uh, really appreciate that you folks are here supporting us in our journey to make that happen and uh, moving the ecosystem forward. So uh, great question, Renix. Really appreciate that. Um, I think if I remember correctly, um, Alvin had a question in the main chat said, have I eaten already today? The answer is no, I have not. And that would probably be why I brought up a sandwich as my normal question reference. All right, folks, it's two fifty Eastern time. 
Last call for hands. Otherwise, I'm shutting this down. Really appreciate you folks. Once again, thanks for coming. Uh, we should have the rest of the team back next week for the usual awesome banter. Appreciate your time. If you have any more questions throughout the week, feel free to ask them in the AMA chat. Please, please, please go to the governance site, folks. If you hold Lunar, get on there, get registered, get involved. Throw up a proposal or two. Let's move the system forward. And uh, we'll see you out there. So everyone have a fantastic week. We'll see you on the next AMA two weeks. Two weeks from yesterday. Take it easy, folks.